Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 10th of February's Godly Blessing. A very important and very interesting blessing is there today. So let's find out what exactly God has to say. So Prima Father is touching on a very important point. That why don't you become lighter? Why do you take all the burden onto yourself? Why do you think that I have to do it? I am the one who can do it. I will be the one who can finish it. And if I don't do it, it's going to be all chaos. And God says, take all the burden onto you. Fine. So here that is what God is teaching us through this beautiful blessing. God says, may you hand yourself over to the Father and become double light. How will it happen? Who will do it? When will it happen? Who is going to do it? Why is it taking so long? Why, when, what, where, how? Become double light by surrendering yourself with your intellect. Surrendering yourself, and yourself means the soul that you are, your mind, your intellect, with your intellect. And what does the intellect do? Decision making. Should we do this? What if that was done? How would that happen? Intellect does the questioning. So God says, give your responsibilities to the Father and hand yourself over to the Father. That is, give all your burdens to the Father, and you will then become double light. Double light means you will feel lighter, and any situation comes, you'll feel lighter, and you'll be connected to God. Surrender yourself with your intellect, and that means don't overthink. How, when, what, where, how is his domain, not our domain. <clears throat> Don't overthink. Simply, everything belongs to the Father. Don't we say that? That everything belongs to you. Sab kuch tera, tera, tera. We say that. Everything belongs to you. Mera ke alage, sab kuch tera. That's what we say in Hindi. That everything belongs to you. What is mine? Nothing. Everything is in the Father. That means everything has come from the Father. Everything is in the Father. Nothing else remains. Since, since nothing else remains, everything around you is His. We are just here as users and just playing around with the things which He's kept over here. Now, how do we play? Is dependent upon us. Since nothing else remains, where would your intellect go? Can you say this is mine? Why did you do that thing to me? Why did you do this thing to me? Why did you break this thing of mine? Why did you use this thing of mine? When is it mine? How is it mine? Simply to one father, where will you until go? Simply to one father, the one path of remembrance. So when we are lighter, when we are not about my and mine, automatically we are like, God, okay, fine, as and how you want it to be used, wherever you want it to be used, you guide me. That means we are connecting with a sixth sense to the Supreme Creator, automatically we'll get the right direction. But when we're like, oh, I have to do it, oh, this is my thing. Oh, this is my responsibility. This is my job. How do I finish it? That person is coming in between. I wish that person wasn't there. And all question marks of how, when, what, where, how, who, not, and why not. And automatically the intellect becomes heavier by overthinking. So God says, give your intellect to me. Don't overthink. Why is it getting delayed? Why not now? Why are you don't, Why are you not doing it? And then you start blaming. If you would have done it on time, if you would have not done this, then the relationships get spoiled. Your mind becomes drained out. Your intellect becomes cluttered. And then at that cluttered intellect, taking a decision becomes very, very difficult. Isn't it true? So that's why God says that when you meditate onto me and you say that everything is yours, everything has come from you, then why do you take all the burden of thinking how to do it? Be light-minded, be light-hearted, and automatically the telepathy or the right message will come and you'll see the right directions and the right signals of getting things done. So first is silence. Go to the world of silence. And while going over there, don't ask God, God, what should I do about this? <laughs> don't do that. That's not meditation. So the best may, way is just let it go. When the, when the question comes, so what will happen if that? Stop, stop, stop. Baba is there. Godfather is there. You have to train your mind because the mind has become overtrained to overthink. And that's what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. It's the power of connection, power of yoga, which gives you the power of not overthinking how, when, what, why. It's his work. You have to have a very clean and pure heart. Just check that, purify that, and everything will be attracted towards you like a magnet. So God then says, then by following this path, you will easily reach your destination. Whatsoever you have decided, you will easily reach it. You won't have to overthink about it. 
So come and learn this beautiful knowledge.